Yet another fire has been sparked by a Gaza balloon in southern Israel as tensions heat up on the Israel-Gaza border. The blaze has been quickly extinguished and hasn't spread, but the arson attack comes just hours after Israeli forces shot dead a Palestinian gunman who had opened fire on them while attempting to sneak into Israel. The balloon-borne incendiary device that caused the fire was launched from the Gaza Strip, an attack tactic that has been pretty common over the past year. But attacks like this one have largely ceased in recent weeks, following an unofficial ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas back in June. Tensions have flared on the border in the past couple of days, however, after Israeli troops shot down five armed Hamas gunmen that were attempting to breach the border. IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kochavi has just visited the border area to meet with regional commanders, along with the troops involved in the clashes. The Israeli officials praising the soldiers who are responding to the latest incident with great success. The killing of Hamas terrorist Marwan Nasser, who had opened fire on the IDF while scaling the border fence just yesterday. The IDF also shelled a number of Hamas observation posts along the border in response to the attempted infiltration. No Israeli soldiers were injured, and the military says efforts to breach the Gaza border have not presented a threat to nearby Israeli communities as of yet. Still, though, the IDF holds the Gaza Strip rulers Hamas responsible for all violence emanating from the coastal enclave.